Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading and this is for Virgo Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Placement in their chart. Jupiter may rest in it with the reading. Cross Watchers are always welcome. Cross Watchers, if I describe someone and you know that it is not you, it is not you. Just because you are connecting with Virgo, you're going to assume that whom I'm describing here is you. Please don't. This is not a personal reading. For those of you who is new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing. For I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you miss the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There is a link in the description box. Click that link. You'll be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. Virgo, if you want, I mean, if, if you resonate with the reading, congratulations. You may resonate with the entire reading. You may resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading. Take what only yours, all right? Take what only resonates. So your overall energy is, how teachable are you? Kind of like a question. Know, from the universe because I can sense here you keep on pushing right um, something that is not working out um, let's say things are happy things are happening you know over and over you know, kind of like you are also doing the same thing over and over um, Virgo now, if you want a different result on a specific event, you may have to alter or change your approach. Um, you're losing hope because your kind of manifestation is not coming to fruition. Your person is not giving you right the um, the affection, the commitment that you want in this connection, right? Also, it seems like to me that this work of yours is coming to waste, right? That's how you feel um, with the Five of Pentacles because there's always a rejection. Somehow, somewhat, um, someone is or your person is turning their back on you, leaving you out in the cold. Um, leaving you alone, right? Um, this could be you. This could be the cross watchers. Cross watchers, if you feel like this is your reading, so be it. Virgo, if you feel like you are in the cross watcher side, that is okay. I am not reading which side you at. I am reading the energy. So someone's wishes here is to achieve the highest form of the abundance, right? But instead, what they're getting is the five of pentacles which is leaving so i can sense here that someone is also kind of like wanted to control the situation right wanted to drive with the three of pentacles here time for you to learn the process and how teachable are you with the three of pentacles right the universe is teaching you something time for you to be vigilant in your surroundings um, be vigilant because things are happening same time you know or same thing happening um, with the three of pentacles here you have to soul search right um, digest dissect the scenarios do not uh, make a decision because this is what you want or run by emotion you know, you have to make a decision kind of like a win-win situation and there will be an ace of swords here a victorious beginning i know that there are passions in here right the fire in your heart with the three of pentacles right i think that too much passion you forgot to also consider the other person again this could be you this could be the cross watchers it is because you know that you are a catch right it doesn't mean that you are a catch you are a catch um let's say that you are um you have the say on this you have the control 
over this. You know, no matter how good a person is, there there's always a limitation, right? I think that someone already reaches that limitation and wanted to, hey, you're not only the catch, I am also. Um, with a page of wands here and the five of wands, so someone heard probably that or saw, right? That they are in a competition and I think that they have been giving or you have been giving a lot of chances for this person. Now it's time to let go. I think that you are in a situation that you are, let's say, you wanted to have the Ten of Pentacles, right? But you are, keep on hanging, kind of like you are letting this person you know, treat you like a doormat. Um, I can see here that your wish will be fulfilled. It just so happened that you also need to alter something. The alteration here is to, again, use a different approach into a specific scenario with the Six of Wands. If you need to speak up, by all means, speak up, right? Because I can sense here you are already having a sleepless nights. You know, um, with all the things uh, has been going on repeatedly with a Nine of Swords here, sleepless nights, um, having a bad dreams with the Ten of Cups because you wanted to have the completion of your dreams, the completion of this love story. And I saw angel number 10, 10, 10. Comment down below what's angel number 10, 10, 10 means. Um, for you to have this strong foundation, cohabitation, proposal, marriage, right? Um, probably also a key to your person's house. But I can see you with the Eight of Cups, right? This is the time for you to turn your back in the connection if, I mean, if this is needed. Um, I know that there is love here, but the love is somehow right um there are a lot of wasted love on this there is a lot of um, incorrect positioning of the cups right with the eight of cups um i think that if if by all means if you if you need to also sacrifice your emotion just for you to get one by all means do it because i can see here in an apology you know um, from your person if you let them know that you're not going to take any more BS from them and I can see here that you are going to surpass the challenges right I think that this is also a learning for you and a page of swords which is the contract a commitment and agreement right um, this cohabitation proposal or marriage will still be yours but i can see here that this is more of you changing your approach on this you might be connecting with a taurus or has a taurus placement in their chart or you have a taurus placement in your chart pisces or has a pisces placement in their chart or you have a pisces placement in your chart virgo or has i mean leo or has a leo placement in their chart um, yeah, Pisces, Taurus, or has a Taurus placement in their chart, or you have a Taurus placement in your chart, Sagittarius, or has a Sagittarius placement in their chart, or you have a Sagittarius placement in your chart, or a Gemini, or has a Gemini placement in your chart, or they have a Gemini placement in their chart, but this is your reading. If you resonate with this and you want to go in-depth, you can book a personal reading with me. If you are okay with the reading and you have a question or two there's a link in the description box click that link you'll be routed to my page type in your questions and then click submit 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading thank you so much for watching love and light to you namaste see you on the next reading goodbye virgo